What's up, Hooper? Looking to improve your handles? Today I've got a free five minute follow along ball handling drill that you can do with me. Let's get into it. I hope you're ready to improve your ball handling. These are the drills I wish I had done earlier in my basketball career. And don't worry, I will walk you through them. Each drill today is gonna to be around 30 seconds. And we're gonna start with right hand pounds. Doing these pounds as hard as you can will help you improve your strength and ability to control the ball in games. For all of these drills, we would do the right and left hand so that we do not have a weak hand and are able to go both directions in games. Just like finishing, ball handling requires proficient skills with both sides. And as a reminder, make sure to be low in your athletic stance while doing these drills. Next, we will work on our fingertip control while dribbling as low and as fast as we can. Keep pushing yourself as we are on our way to the break. Back to the left hand we go, tapping the ball the best we can. Remember to get uncomfortable in these drills. You should be losing the ball and making mistakes in order to see improvement. You may have to come back to this video multiple times per week, but with consistency, I promise you your handles will get better. Moving on to our crossovers, make sure to sway a little bit from side to side as during a real game you are trying to shift your defender. And to learn more about the crossover and other basketball skills, check out my basketball tips videos here. Now let's take a quick 30 second break. This is your chance to shake your legs out, grab a quick swig of water, Gatorade, body armor, whatever you go with, and catch your breath. By taking a rest, we are ensuring we can give maximum effort in the second half. Okay, ready to get back into it? Let's finish strong. Let's do some between the legs. Make sure to keep your feet planted on the floor and again, you can move your hips a bit. Alternating sides and hands will help us change directions and become more unpredictable. If you want more basketball, ball handling workouts, shooting workouts, finishing workouts, and videos of other sorts, be sure to hit that subscribe button for all things basketball. Behind the back time, this is one of the best moves to protect the ball from your defender. However, it's harder to develop. Personally, I find it requires more practice in the crossover in between the legs. Just a quick tip from me here, the quicker and longer you keep your head up and forward, the better your behind the back will become. Make sure to really push that ball back and forth between hands. And we're almost done. Now incorporating our fingertips and some movement, we can do the Pete Maravich figure eight drill. Control tap the ball around your legs and switch hands when under them. And for more drills like this, be sure to let me know what else you wanna see in the comments below.
to really work on manipulation, I've added 15 seconds of in and out dribbles with both hands. This will help you trick your defender into going one way while you go the other. To finish our workout off, we are going to freestyle dribble for 30 seconds. Change your pace, height, and speed as this is one of the best ways to develop your handles. In a game, you can't use pre-planned moves to beat your defender, so by practicing our creativity, we are working on a game transferable skill. There you have it, Hooper, a five minute ball handling workout that you can do anytime, anywhere. Thanks for joining me today and improving your game and improving your handles. I have a second ball handling workout coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. And in the meantime, check out my off season vlog series where I showcase my life on and off the court as an 11th grade Hooper. I'll see you next time.